In this video, we'll be looking at angle relationships in polygons. Recall that a triangle has interior angles that add up to 180 degrees. And that quadrilaterals have interior angles that add up to 360 degrees. What I'd like you to do is draw a pentagon, five-sided shape, and make a conjecture about what its interior angles add up to. A conjecture is like your best guess or a hypothesis. Once you've drawn your pentagon and made a guess about what its interior angles add up to, use your protractor app that you've downloaded on your phone and see if you can figure out the sum of its interior angles. Do you see a pattern yet? We've now looked at a few different shapes, such as the triangle and the quadrilateral. Triangles have three sides, quadrilaterals have four sides, and I've asked you to draw a pentagon, which has five sides. When we drew our triangles and quadrilaterals, one of the things you were asked to do was imagine drawing a diagonal from the vertex to another vertex and seeing how many triangles you could make. So when I have a quadrilateral, I can draw one diagonal and I can create two triangles. When I have a triangle, if I pick a vertex, well, I can't draw a line from that vertex to any other vertex and make another triangle. I can only make one triangle. So, triangles, I can draw zero diagonals from the vertex. Quadrilaterals, I can draw one diagonal. And I make one and two triangle, respectively, from each of these shapes creating interior angles that sum to 180 degrees in the case of the triangle and 360 degrees in the case of the quadrilateral. When you drew your pentagon, if you were to pick one vertex of your pentagon and imagine drawing lines out from that vertex to other vertexes, trying to make different triangles, you should be able to see that you can create three triangles from the vertex of your pentagon. So I can make two diagonals constructing three triangles which gives me a sum of interior angles of 540 degrees. When you measured the angles in your pentagon that you drew, did you get close to 540 degrees? Do you see a pattern yet? What if we drew a hexagon? Hexagons have six sides. If I pick one vertex on my hexagon and draw lines from that vertex to as many vertexes as I can, I can see that I'm drawing three different lines and I'm making four triangles. So I have three diagonals which creates four triangles and if I was to measure the interior angles, I would have 720 degrees of interior angles. Do you see now that each time we add a side, we're really adding 180 degrees to our sum of interior angles? Do you think you could fill in the rest of the chart with this information following our patterns? Heptagons have seven sides. Octagons have eight sides. I bet if we were to draw them, we could connect one vertex to other vertices with diagonals using four and five lines, creating five and six triangles. And our interior angles would be 900 degrees. and 1,080 degrees. So our interior angles go up by 180 degrees each time. Here's a problem. Can you create an equation that would determine the sum of interior angles, we'll call that S, given a shape that has any number of sides? We'll call that N. 
So looking at the chart we've created, can you find an equation that would model the pattern that we've seen? The equation should look like 180 multiplied by the number of sides minus 2. This equation will allow us to figure out the interior angles in any shape if we know the number of sides in that shape. Let's put it to use. Find the sum of interior angles in a 12-sided polygon. We need to use the formula that you just created, 180 degrees multiplied by the number of sides minus 2. Here we are given a 12-sided shape, so our n value will be 12. We're going to take that value and plug it into the equation for n. So we have 180 degrees multiplied by 12 minus 2, which becomes 180 times 10, or 1,800. So we can say that a 12-sided shape has a sum of interior angles of 1,000 800 degrees. Let's try another problem. Find the measure of each interior angle in a regular octagon. When we call a shape regular, we are talking about a polygon with all sides and all interior angles equal. So this is a shape where all the sides and all the interior angles are the same. An octagon is a shape with eight sides. So again we'll use our formula s equals 180 degrees multiplied by the number of sides minus 2 or 180 multiplied by 8 minus 2. If you calculate that, you should get 1,080 degrees as the sum of all the interior angles. This isn't what the question is asking for. The question is asking for the measure of each interior angle. So what each angle would be individually. If we know that this shape has eight sides, we know it also has eight vertices, eight angles. So if we divide 1080 by eight by the number of sides, we'll end up with 135 degrees, which is the value for each interior angle, each angle is 135 degrees. So we've talked about the sum of the interior angles, we've talked about a formula to find these values, what we haven't talked about yet is the sum of exterior angles. In previous videos you've seen that in a triangle the exterior angles add up to 360 degrees, in a quadrilateral the exterior angles add up to 360 degrees. If we're looking for a pattern looks to be pretty apparent. It doesn't matter what shape we're looking at, how many sides it has, the exterior angles always add up to 360 degrees. So a shape could have five sides, it could have 500 sides, the exterior angles are always adding up to 360. Last problem, how many sides does a polygon have if each interior angle is 140 degrees? Here we're solving for n. So we'll use the same formula, s equals 180 multiplied by n minus 2, but we're going to use it differently this time. We know that since each interior angle is 140 degrees, the total sum of all interior angles 
would be 140 degrees multiplied by n. Multiplied by how many angles there are, how many sides there are. This then represents our sum, s equals 140 n. If I plug this into my formula, I've created an equation that has variables on two sides. You've solved equations like this before in our algebra unit. So you know that we can distribute the 180 into the brackets. And then as we solve, we will bring any term with a variable over to the left hand side, leave all other terms on the right hand side. We can simplify on the left by gathering like terms. And our last step is to divide both sides by negative 40. And if you try that on your calculator, you should get a value for n of 9. So we can say that this polygon has 9 sides. Ooh.